Hey everyone, it's Dave here. I just wanted to share with you how to set up a uh, brand new Apple iPad 6 Gen with um, an iPhone. Uh, now this is really good for people who are not going to enroll their iPad into an MDM and they just want it as a standalone device uh, linked to their Apple ID. So this is one of the simplest ways um, to do it and it's so good. Um, so let's just have a look. First you just turn on the iPad and you just wait for that to go into boot mode. You, you do need your phone next to the device uh, and that way it will use Bluetooth to find that device once it's being turned on. And in a moment you'll see a prompt on the phone for it to, to pair. Maybe I'll just put that on top. Sometimes that helps to prompt it. Okay, there we go. That's the prompt I'm looking for. And um, you'll see that it's, it's now asking for the uh, phone to sync and set up the uh, iPad. So again, this is great for people who own the, the iPad and it's not going on an MDM. This is more for a consumer kind of setup than a, a school environment, but in some cases, schools don't have an MDM and the teachers are going to be owning that particular device. So through proximity, it's registered that there's a phone uh, close to the uh, iPad. I'm now going to use my own Apple ID by pressing continue and basically it will connect I might just flip it that way it will then ask you to use your camera on your phone okay and you just need to um, scan over that graphic it will then connect it's using all the information and setting on, settings on your phone and it will transfer that to the iPad so things like Wi-Fi credentials, any uh, passwords, all those types of things are, are all available for you to use. So I'll just put my passcode in. And once you've done that, it's going to, like I said, keep transferring all the data across. It is by far the quickest and easiest way I've seen to set up an iPad. Uh, this only takes minutes, whereas before you've got to work your way through all the prompts. Uh, you don't need to do that because you've already done that previously on your phone. So uh, this makes it a really simple way to set up your iPad. I'm going to work not set up the Touch ID, I'll do that later. And you can see in a, in a matter of minutes you'll have your iPad ready to be used and then if it will have all those settings already in that device. You will still need to download things like apps and, and, and so on, but uh, it will link things like your iCloud um, and uh, any other password related um, settings into this iPad. You can see already that it's um, taken the Wi-Fi setting from the phone and it's added it to the iPad. You then got your choices of restoring, choosing a backup from um, a laptop if you've done that, or you can obviously get data from other places. But uh, in here, so you've got your restore from iCloud backup, restore from an iTunes backup, or just set up as a new iPad. In this case, for what I want it to be, I just want it to be a new iPad. And you can see over here the prompt on the phone. It says your Apple ID can now be used to set up your new iPad. And I'll just press OK. Uh, work your way through the prompts. I'll enable location services. Uh, I'm not going to use Apple Pay or anything like that. So I'll just continue. I'll set Siri up later. Uh, I'm not going to share my analytics with Apple. Work your way through some of these prompts. And that's it. That's how you get your iPad started. You'll notice that uh, when you go to settings, um, my iCloud account's already connected. Um, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi here and it will take any other location that my phone has connected to previously. It will um, remember it in this device. So really handy feature when you're moving around from either school to school or location to location and you've already got your Wi-Fi settings preloaded in your phone. Alright, so that's it. That's as simple as it is to get started with a um, iPhone to iPad. Uh, obviously, you can then go into the App Store and download the apps that you need after that.